Hey everyone, welcome back to FilterGrade. Today we're talking about using green screens in Adobe After Effects. It's important to know how to do this in video editing programs, and after this video, you'll know how to use this powerful tool in this powerful program. Start by dragging in your green screen footage and create a new composition. You actually don't need the green screen to fill up the entire frame of your shot, as long as the entirety of the subject you want to use is in front of the green screen. If you don't have a green screen that covers the entire frame, then you can just mask out the area of the video that contains the green screen. If you need a reminder on adding masks, just click on the pen tool on the toolbar and draw around the green screen area. Now you'll have a mask. It can be very rough as long as you didn't mask out your subject or exclude any of the background that wasn't covered by the green screen. Next, go to the Effects and Presets panel. You could use the obsolete color key effect for this, but we're going to use a more advanced and up-to-date effect. Under the Image Utilities folder, you'll see Key Light plus Key Cleaner plus Advanced Spill Suppressor. This tool actually bundles all three of those effects together in order to get the best green screen key possible. If you watched our video about how to work with green screens in Premiere Pro, you may recognize a few of these terms. Drag this preset onto your green screen footage. The first effect is the Key Light effect. In this tool, you'll use the eyedropper to select the color of your green screen. To confirm the result, view your clip as screen matte and adjust the settings if it's not a perfect key. The key cleaner effect probably won't require any adjustments of you, but if things don't look perfect, then adjust the additional edge radius and enable reduced chatter in order to lower the amount of noise. The advanced spill suppressor can help with the spill of color that can occur when a bit of green from the green screen ends up around the edges of the subject. The advanced spill suppressor is off by default, so make sure to enable it if you need it. It should work with the default settings, but if it doesn't, you can open up the ultra settings and pick the color again while fine-tuning the settings. To use your cutout, just drop a background on a layer underneath. You may need to color correct and adjust for lighting, but in terms of using the green screen, that's it. If you liked this video and found it useful, let us know by liking it and subscribing to FilterGrade, and let us know in the comments down below your best tips for using green screens in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.